Hi, for your week six technology assignment, you are going to be doing two steps. First, you are going to compute the mean for two different columns of data, and then you are going to conduct a hypothesis test about the means of the populations that those two columns of data came from. The data here is just for an example. You will download the data that is posted in Blackboard. And remember, once you download that data, which is in an Excel format, you can open it here by going to Data, Load, From File, on my computer, and then browsing to and selecting the location where you saved that file. Here we're looking at two uh, fictitious data sets called Data1 and Data2. So the first thing we want to do is find the mean of data one and data two. And just like we did in week two, we can find that by going to stat, summary stats, columns. We can find both of the means for data one and data two at the same time by just selecting both of them in the top box. We select both by clicking on both uh, data set columns and by holding the control key down as we do so, that's how we select both. Then under the statistics column, we will select the mean because that's the statistic we were interested in for this assignment. We can go ahead and click compute now at the bottom and we will be given the mean of each of those data sets. So we notice that data one had a mean of 15.72 and data two had a mean of 14.96. So based on this sample data, it looks like data one has a higher mean than data two. Now we're going to test that claim or that hypothesis with a hypothesis test. The hypothesis test will be back under the stat key. Since this is a test about a mean, we will go to T stats and now we need to make a choice. If data one and data two were independent data sets, in other words, the two numbers on any particular row are not matched or paired together in any way, then we will select two sample with data. If the data in data one and data two were indeed paired or matched in some way, then we would select paired. I'm going to show you both ways to do the two different types of hypothesis test, and you can choose the appropriate one for the data that you have in your assignment. If these two data sets were two independent sets, they're not related to each other in any way, then again, we will select two sample with data. We will tell the computer that the first values are in the column called data one and the second values are in the column called data2. And we are doing a hypothesis test, so we're going to leave the checkbox for hypothesis test checked, and then we need to make a decision about what our alternative hypothesis should be as far as the direction here. Remember, we decided after looking at our two sample means that it looked like the mean for data1 was higher more than for data2. In our input here, data one is the first sample denoted by mu one down here, and data two is the second sample, and the mean for that is denoted mu two. So if we are saying that the mean from the data one population is greater than the mean for the data two population, and if we are subtracting in this order data one minus data two, then that means that that subtraction should produce something greater than zero. If I take a bigger number and I subtract something from that that's a smaller number, I should get a positive number. For example, five minus two would be three, which is positive. So the correct direction to select here for the alternative hypothesis would be greater than. And then we can go ahead and click compute at the bottom. And now we have everything we need to make our conclusion about our claim. At the top, the program has reminded us what mu1 and mu2 stood for. It has reminded us what our null and alternative hypotheses are. And to make a conclusion about our claim, our p-value and test statistic are right here. If we had decided originally that our data was paired, the steps would be very similar. We would go to stat, t-stats, and this time we would select 
prepared. In the box that opens, again, we will tell the computer where our data one and data two columns are. We will leave hypothesis che uh, test checked and notice mu d is the same setup as what we had in the previous example for the independent sets. It's the mean of the first population subtracting the mean of the second population. Our first sample or first population was from data one and the second was data two. Again, our hypothesis here was that the data one had, was going to have a population mean greater than data two. So if I subtract in this order, the data one population minus the data two population, and if data one was more than data two, then I should get a positive number, something greater than zero when I subtract in this order. So just like before, I'm going to select greater than here, and this basically says that the mean of the differences is greater than zero. Just like before, we'll click compute, and now we have everything that we need to make a conclusion about this hypothesis test. We are reminded what the mean of the difference is. Here's our null and alternative hypothesis, and here we have our test statistic and p-value to make a conclusion about our claim. That's it. That's all the technology steps you need to do for week six.